Hello friends. I welcome you to the Connexo SME IPO. Today we brought a Gujarat based company Mangalam Worldwide. It, the company was incorporated in 1995 by Mr Gupta and Mr Shah and was mainly in the business of trading textile and other material. After in 2002 Mr Gupta and Modi has taken over the company and continued the business as a trading in textile and other materials. In 2005 Mr uh, Vipin Mangal has taken over the company and continued the business again in textile and other material trading. In December 2009 the management has decided to start manufacturing of steel billets and steel stainless steel steel rolling the company has two plants which is based in gujarat one is at halor and one is chan godar steel billet plant has a capacity of around 66000 metric ton while the stainless steel rolling plant has the capacity of 90000 halor plant that is steel billet plant is rolling at is manner is running at a capacity utilization of 65% while the rolling mill is running at a capacity of 35%. This company are basically based in Gujarat and in the small manufacturing of stainless steel billets and the rolling mills. Now, what we think the company strength is? Company is new, but it is in the industry which has got a wide demand that is stainless steel. But the concern is the high raw material prices and the small business unit the capacity which the company has now let's talk about now let me tell you the financials of the company as i said in december 2009 the company had get into the business of manufacturing stainless steel billets so in 2022 the company has posted a turnover over 500 crores as against the turnover of 303 crores reporting a strong growth of 76% the net ebitda is also good and it is at 22 crore while the net profit growth net profit has come to 12% company's ebitda margin is 4% and net profit margin is 2% so here we raise our eyebrows first thing what we have The company has reported a strong growth, sudden growth in FY22, that is within a three years of manufacturing, and the company is coming out of the IPO. Is it a window dressing? Secondly, despite having a strong top line growth and a bottom line growth, net EBITDA margin, that is operating profit margin, and the net profit margin are very low. Raw material cost is continuously a threat. for the company as far as the profitability goes the another important thing what i feel is that the company's power requirement is can is met by the external external power grid and any short supply or a rise in the prices can severely affect company's top line growth as well as the profitability now what is the risk as far as the business is going the constant as i said the cost of raw material is very high there is a strong presence of the established player company has got a limited track record of a manufacturing and steel business the company's promoters has got limited experience in the steel manufacturing business if i see the managing director which is chandra gupta uh, mangal and chanakya mangal are very young in the age group of 24 and 26 so there is a limited experience as far as steel manufacturing is concerned the company is a very small in with a capacity of 66000 metric ton which has a strong pricing power and the company's main raw material is the steel scrap and therefore a lot depend on the availability of the steel metal steel scrap now company shares are offered let's discuss what the valuation is the company shares are offered at 101 it comes to 
company. The lead managers of the company of the issue is B line broking limited. I think this is a well insight for the company coming out for the IPO. Thank you.